Beautiful start to the morning at 740, 29 degrees. It's not easy sticking to those New Year's resolutions, is it? Well, to help, Susan Steinbrecher is here this morning. She has a book called Ken Show. It's a modern awakening and roadmap to success and uh, is joining us this morning. So the first thing you say is to set smart goals. What are smart goals? <laughs> smart is um, S is for specific, M measurable, A attainable, R realistic, and T time bound. So if I want to lose weight, is it I want to lose weight? Or, no. or it's something like, it, what do you do? Just make it something smaller, something attainable? Like, yeah, exactly. I want to lose 10 pounds. Right, exactly. I want to lose 10 pounds is a statement. Uh, okay. A smart goal would be by March 30th, I'm going to be 10 pounds lighter. Oh, okay. And write down your goals. Exactly. Because when you write it down, you're declaring more, right? You're more dedicated, you're more committed to doing it. It uh, actualizes it faster. Okay. And, and then you say what I thought was interesting in the book. You say, take notes every time you give in. Right. Well, so, why is that? Well, because the, I just want to ignore it. <laughs> exactly. Well, the reality is, you know, we're going to be triggered. We know that that's going to happen. So the more that you prepare for that and you have a plan for those times that you're going to fall short. So when you do fall short, it's not a big deal. You've already planned for it. You actually have a contingency in place. So just write it down and say, hey, this didn't work out, but here's my contingency plan. I know what to do next. And it really does help to have somebody with you, some extra support. Support is helpful. And, you know, as much as we'd like to think that our friends and family are going to support us, yeah. sometimes <laughs> they don't. You know, sometimes they actually sabotage our success, not by poor intention, but frankly because it's more of a reflection of their own feelings about themselves. Uh -huh. And motivation is pretty important. Why, why you want to do it? You should probably try to figure out why is it that this is what your resolution is? Why you Exactly. So if you pick a resolution or a goal for somebody else, you're not going to have the motivation to sustain it. It really needs to be about you. What is in it for you to do that for yourself? And this was really cute. Surround yourself with motivation. So, for example, the, the example I was given was, uh, if the Victoria's Secret swimsuit catalog inspires you to work out, take pictures all over your mirrors of the Victoria's hey, whatever Secret whatever works, models. right? Whatever works. It's not about setting up a false expectation, but it is about saying, this is what motivates me to perform. But what if you know you're never going to? like that. <laughs> well, you're exactly right. So pick something more realistic for you, but okay. that's an inspiration, right? right? So I believe in vision boards, visualize what you actually want, show pictures, surround yourself by those people and things that actually motivate so you. So if it's like to get more organized, which is kind of what mine is, I would take a bunch of pictures, maybe off Pinterest or something, of, of people who are so organized that I, oh, I oh. you just want to inspire to be like that or have something that looks that's like right. that in your Something okay. that says organization to you <laughs> and, and scheduling time to do it is what is is tough for a lot of people so really you got to block out the time and schedule it you really do because if something doesn't hit a calendar or a to-do list it's not going to happen no definitely <laughs> not and, and you should know your weaknesses right know where you're probably not going to do so well exactly and, and again that's where the contingency plan comes in where you say listen this is an area of opportunity for me I know this is not a strength what do I want to do in advance? Thinking, thinking about that in advance helps set you up for success. And, and what do you do when you slip? I mean, do you beat yourself up? Do no. you just you, you say, <laughs> okay, I, I messed up, and then I'm going to move on? Exactly. And to do it. Uh, people, people are really hard on themselves. And that, when, when is it that you finally go, forget it? <laughs> this isn't going to work. Maybe I'll try next well, year. Well, it goes back to really checking why are you doing this in the first place. Okay. I mean, if you really have a good reason for doing this, there's a big win for you. It's important to you. You'll be committed then to you continue should stick the course. With it. Don't right. just give up. And then you also say to disconnect from social media. What does that have to do with anything? As much as possible. Because, you know, electronic devices are fabulous, but they're tools. They're tools to be picked up and taken down or put down when not appropriate. Mm. So we can get wrapped up into that, and that actually is a disaster because then we're 24-7 dialed in. We never have time to stop, to do breathe, anything do anything else. Okay, exactly. well, you can find a link to Susan's company's website on ours. Just click on links. More information on the book, too. Thank you so much for joining You're us. Welcome. Appreciate Thank it. you. Good luck to everyone. Stick to their goals.